social deduction game never tastes so delicious with cheese, but you can steal it. Cheese thief coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Maple University. Today we are going to show you Cheese Thief, the game that was also brought by uh, the same publisher that brought you Deception Made in Hong Kong, one of our favorite social deduction games. Yes, so this one is designed by Dong Shu Lee. It is another social deduction game, not quite in the same vein as Deception Murder in Hong Kong. It's got more of a one night werewolf sort of vibe. Correct. In that there is one big round of play and you need to use the information that comes to you to try to identify the traitor. Mm. By the way, have you played Deception Made in Hong Kong or anything similar? Let us know in the comment sections. Um, well, um, me, mainly, mainly me, I'll check our comments regularly um, and I usually like to chat with you there. So, here you go, what's the game about, Tarrant? Yeah. So, um, the game plays, the, the basic game plays between five and eight players. Um, without modifications to the rules and put very simply there will be uh, each player has a role there will be one cheese thief and the rest will be sleepy heads and so everyone is dealt a secret roll around the table and then everyone secretly rolls a die looks at it and covers it up with their cup yeah okay. that's just like so, we'll just like that. That. so yes. everyone will have a number and then there will be a night phase and over six rounds of night phase, you will wake up at the time indicated on your die. In this case, if this is mine, that would be uh, six, night number six. Yep, so you would be the sixth to wake up, there's a four, another four, and a one. And so you would go, everyone would shut their eyes, you would go around the table, all the ones would wake up, then the twos, threes, and so on. Yes, so there's a, you need moderation for that, it's not hard, but there's also an app that you can play. Yes. Yep. Uh, when the cheese thief wakes up, that player takes the cheese. And so anyone who wakes up after will see that the cheese is gone. And Everyone who's woken up before will see that it's still there. If a sleepyhead wakes up with the cheese thief, then that player becomes Followers. the follower. So they know that they're going to, basically they catch them in the act. They're going to share the cheese with them later. Yeah. As long <laughs> as the cheese thief doesn't get... Um, found out by mm -hmm. all of the others. Mm -hmm. And so that's sort of, you know, if you take a one night ultimate werewolf um, equivalent, that's the minion sort of role. There. Yeah, so you um, you wake up with the cheese thief and then you be part of the team, the same team as the cheese thief. Yep. Uh, if you are a sleepyhead and you wake up by yourself, so no one else is, is awake, you're allowed to look under one other person's cup to see their time. And that way you might be able to catch them in a lie. Yeah. That's what I did last time as well. Anyways, continue. Yep, and there's also uh, if the sleepy head wakes, oh, sorry, if the cheese thief wakes up with more than one sleepy head, then they pick one follower. Uh, but everyone who woke up at that time knows what's going on, and yeah. they have to, they have like, to lie bluff and, and lie. And then um, uh, I just want to see who's the cheese thief here. Is it you, Tarrant? No. Uh, that would be it. this one here. So that's basic cheese thief. There is a variant at four players where each player has two, two dice, dice but yes. only wakes up at one of the times Correct. of their choosing. And there is a variant at six to eight players where you can use one extra roll called the uh, fall mouse. And the fall mouse doesn't steal the cheese, uh, but once but only wins if they get voted as the cheese thief so mm. they want to that's, they want to take the blame that's like the tanner or something on werewolf or something or want to take the blame or get yeah. killed or something yeah yeah so that is that is basically cheese thief it is a simple yes. you know we've we've mentioned one night werewolf a lot i think the key differences are it's got many fewer roles it's got a little more information to argue about yeah. so obviously with with something like mm. a with One Night Werewolf, you've got what the seer sees, and that's kind of all you've got to go on. Here, each person at least gets one bit of information when they wake up, see whether the cheese is there or not, and maybe look at a look at a die. There's one time where somebody just in one game, somebody said, "Hey, it's actually our friend, it's a 
then it's like oh i'm like i'm number blah 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 i wake up at blah 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 night on, on the fifth night and the cheese um is not anymore there i was like hmm i woke up at four it was there so that's very suspicious um like anything could happen it de kind of like also depends on who you're playing with i know that taran is not usually play a lot of social deduction and you feel like you're not that good at Social deduction. Yeah, I've, I've never personally been big on social deduction, particularly the less information I've got, the tougher it is for me. Mm. You know, you put me in front of Avalon where there's just no information and I've got to go straight out and accuse people of, <laughs> of lying yeah. based on nothing and it's just not for me. Uh, whereas Deception, Murder in Hong Kong, where it's more a discussion about um, how items fit clues, mm. that works for me very well. Um, this one is... In the middle, I guess. It's in the middle towards the no information side, so it's definitely not my style of game mm. in the base case, mm. which makes it hard for me to give a, a truly reasoned opinion to social deduction fans. Yeah. Um, what I... My instinct for this is that if you're really into social deduction, you'll find this a little bit too simple. You know, with only... With only two different roles or three different roles, um, only really one sort of information to go on. I, I think it has a limited shelf life for people who play a lot of One Night Ultimate Werewolf, but I think it's an easier entry point than One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Got it. We talk about, in maybe on our other videos or live playthrough, about having Melbourne meet up because it is, well, currently it's quite safe at the moment for people to meet up. There's no community community transmission and so on so I've been playing this with other people and um, I find that you know you were the choose TV you were the follower and I was like I was trying to read body language I play a lot of social deduction deduction more than Taryn and I do definitely enjoy it and I can see people if I throw this with people who usually play Avalon they would be like um, it is as you say it is an entry level it's a um, easy party game you don't need to know a lot of things you, you play a lot of social deduction you see ah oh, okay this this will happen um i do like the randomness of um a little bit of randomness of the dice rolls you know you, you, you're trying to see by the language you can you're trying to see who's welcome at what what people say and then trying to process that in your head as with um a lot of social the other deduction i think with more experienced social deduction players um, this this could be an interesting one with um, I think maybe higher player counts might be better than lower player count. I think you get a little more information in play at higher player counts. Everyone's you know, six numbers, eight players. There's going to be enough overlap to mm -hmm. form a story. Whereas six numbers, four players. Um, there are portions of the night that just don't open yeah. up less corroborating evidence for when the cheese is gone, things like that. All right. I just find it interesting and that's not really a lot of... Well, there's one night... One night... Was it one night werewolf? Not the ultimate many nights, but just the one night. It's got that similar vibe, yes. So uh, um, maybe you want to try this if you like that, but you want something that is quicker to learn, easy, easy to learn, and then quicker to play to, you know, get even co uh, casual, casual gamers to play this... Um, It'll be easier maybe to, um, to learn and play as well. Yeah. And of course it's got this cute sponge, a uh, little triangular sponge representing the cheese, which yeah. is, uh, <laughs> yes, very cute because it looks like the Swiss cheese. And... Yeah. yeah, I had to take out the, my jacket. So I usually wear my puffy jacket that uh, making sound when I move. So at night, like everyone close their eyes and then, you know, I otherwise if I move, like trying to grab it if I'm the cheese thief, then people will know, oh, uh, I can hear you, Jacket Stella. So I took it out. So And people was like banging um, the hand on the table to try to cover the noise that it's possibly make. But um, I like it. I was like, I, I've never been a cheese thief. I'm only cheese thief one day. I think it's fun to be a cheese thief. Yeah. For me, it's, um, I like it. It's a, I agree with Heron with a good entry level with a lot of people, well, uh, gateway, a gateway social deduction, I think. Yeah. Even simpler than werewolf, one at werewolf, so. And let us know if you have any um, questions in the comments and also if you play anything like this, let us know as well. 
Um, and uh, if you find this video useful, uh, please do uh, help us by hitting that like button and subscribe to us if you haven't already done so. We do a lot of other videos, how to play, play through, and Stella Short and Sweet and so on. So um, if you uh, like to subscribe, hit the bell, uh, that would be helpful for us as well. And um, find me on social media like Instagram, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye!